Hello guys, welcome to my fourth video for setting up a login application using Symfony 2 framework. In this video we will be using the controllers and actions created and linking up with the form we had created in the video 3. Let us start by specifying the method and the action variables for the form we had created. We will give the method as post so that it will be available in the request object of our controller and the action we will have to give the name of the root we had created in the routing.yml file this is given as a twig variable so inside the curly brackets we can use the path function and give the name of the root we had created so we can just copy paste that here and now we will have to specify the name of all the input fields that we are using so we can do that by giving specifying the name for both the input username and password now we can start with the controller so we'll have to use the request object so I'll just first import that object it is the HTTP foundation request that we are using so that will be input for our login function so we had specified the request object as post for the form which we are submitting and that request object we can check it here by using the get method function of the request object and checking whether it is post so and we can also get all the variables we had used in that form using the request.get function we should give the name of the fields that we had created in our form if we need we can specify a default value also in case as a second parameter of the get function now we can remove these variables we don't require them anymore we had created this in the first video for just testing this controller now we are getting this from the request object now we can move this code inside the post request of this controller so that it gets executed only in the post request again this name variable is not required now we might want to give an alert error in case the login is wrong so we can define an alert class inside the login so Twitter Bootstrap has some pretty good looking alert class so can we, we can use one of them I'll use the alert info class and also the fade in effect and we can specify the alert message inside this div for now we can specify a welcome message for the user in case he has logged in later we can change this alert for showing the error message so we need to show this alert only in case the name variable is defined so we can give that condition using the if so if name is defined we can show this div tag so now we can test this in our browser I'll just reload that page and give the correct username and password so it is showing the first name as an alert message in the next video we can add a sign up form and also create a welcome page in case a user logins thank you all for watching this video have a nice day